finally got a response to um, our 60 minute seek. I wonder if this one's going to be like um, the I thought I was playing a GM type game. Okay, so they're going for the Fianchetto type looking stuff. Just keep it simple, just develop the knight out and watch for the ninja bishops. Okay, so the knight is out. Could challenge the knight, but I don't really want to lose tempo dancing around, so I'm actually just going to simplify and go for baby chess and just bring the knight out. So the knight's moved again, it's just looking a bit odd, but don't count it out, let me see, I'm just going for simple, I'm just bringing the bishop out, just looking to maybe get castled nice and steady, whatever craziness the opponents bring in, don't really want to get involved in it just yet, just uh, Make sure I get my bed sorted. So if I go on castle, because you never know, I could be falling into some sort of set play thing. Um, I'm not actually seeing it at the minute, but we could castle, or we could just touch onto the knight, see what he wants to do. Do we lose tempo by doing that? Let's push on to the knight first before I go castling, just just in case they're gonna storm me somehow. Okay, I'm not sure if this is legitimate or not, but if I take this knight, what actually happens? I'm going to take the knight. Okay, maybe I'm not playing a secret GM then, but hang fire, hang fire with those forts. the unusual stuff is the stuff that catches you out knights down again I'm not too sure you know so I've not got castled and I'm not castling on that side now so there's kind of method in the madness isn't there just going to touch onto the knight Be a secret genius or something. Just push through the centre, it's looking a bit jammed up there. We need to open the space, maybe start working around the edges. This unusual opening that they're bringing into play. out so it's on twice so we could attack the knight again is that a good thing or not mm, do, 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 do. I'm actually going to and this is probably going to be wrong but we'll see I'm going to attack the bishop Okay. Rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board, so I need to bring that high, high tail and back. So bring it back. They don't have any place in the centre of the board unless it's to your benefit. At this moment in time, it doesn't look like it's to the benefit. It's castle kind of a home alone king, don't really have much that can attack there at the minute. Knight can bounce up but then, oh yeah it could bounce up and attack this pawn. I 
But you know, I mean, the king can just sit there, can't he? If the knight did take. So it'd have to be the rook that took. But then even if we jump here, his pawn can just jump down anyway. So it might be a wasted move. Could hit the knight with the pawn. He's already got castle, you see, nice and safe. Mm, mind you, if he comes down for the rook, then we can take his rook with our knight. Because we're a knight up, so we could just give him it back. Hitting this knight first, see what happens here. Okay, so they've given up another knight. Before I do that, I've got to practice for the over the board rash thinking and everything. Uh, they've, asked, they've offered a draw, okay, um, I'll think about it. And it looks like they've gone, and they've resigned. Okay, um, very unusual game.